Hey, Amo, we need a new Christmas jingle. Do we, Leon? We do indeed, Amo. Don't worry, I got it covered. The Munch Punch Gang is here with vids and lives aflow. Lots of love to the Munch Punch Gang with a happy ho ho ho. Chinese food, lots of booze, tell your friends the news. Come and join the Munch Punch Gang and then you're in the Christmas groove. Hey! Hey! Voice. I can edit all that last bit off. Oh well, at least we tried, Amo. Sure did, Lee. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, you filthy animals. animals! Hi everyone, and welcome back to another mukbang with Amy and Lee. We are the Munch Bunch UK. Merry Christmas! Are we diddling, folks? It's Domino's. Yes, yeah, we have Domino's. Bizzle, open we the box. We have no Lee because he's covered up by a box. I can't, I can't watch the drinks. That's all. Um, let's just rip the top of this lid off, I. Right? There you go, guys. Ooh. You seen one Domino's? You know what they look like. Wait till I tell you about the day we had. I can't. I can't do it that anymore. I don't want to be responsible for everything going all over the shop. Right, they've gone. So this is the pizza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's turn, move this down a little bit so we can see it a bit better. There you go. Yummy. There we oh, go. Let's see what this is all about. We have char grilled chicken, meatballs, sweet corn, <laughs> cheese, tomato. Uh, and our Tia and Brenda, or Trendy, Aim's mum, Bren. Um, sounds odd to call her Brenda. They mm. have something else. Don't ask me what Ham. the hell it was. Ham, ham, yeah, ham, cheese, and tomato. Mmm. That's nice. What a day. We, we thought, oh, we know what's going on here. Just sort of Why don't we go and do our Christmas food... Sorry, I was trying to get the light right. Christmas food shopping. I wasn't trying to do the Matrix then, by the way. I was trying to sort out the lights. I said to do it yesterday. And then I won a toss, because I couldn't be asked to go yesterday. So Tia tossed a coin. I won. We didn't go yesterday. I wish I'd lost now. It, oh, do you ever have to get changed down? It was, it was hassle, guys. As you can imagine, the last, very last Friday before Christmas, mm -mm. everyone's got the same idea because the, the kids are broken up or whatever. It was rammed. Mmm, this is good pizza. We had Domino's. Probably about 10 years, I reckon. Yeah. It's been a while. Sorry, I'm just opening. Well, we had a Domino's opening in our city, and when we tried it, we weren't massive fans, if I'm being honest. No. Um, so we just put it was off for a long time. We got a lot, we had a lot of good reviews, so I'll give it a try. It's nice. We've had pizza a few times though recently. I don't know which one I prefer, to be honest. Mm. What would you say? My favourite is Four Seasons because I like thicker pizza than this. Mm. So it's mm. safe to say we should hopefully now have enough for Christmas, guys. We have four, count them, four freezers full of food. Yeah, I mean, it's like I was saying, because you're not going out like over Christmas for meals like we normally would, or perhaps like, I mean, Christmas parties and things. That's what we concentrated on more this time round, mm. though. Nice food and drink. We've had, we spent literally nothing on each other for Christmas. Mm -mm. Just answer that question, what do you prefer? Because we was on about... Um, I think I'll have to have them both next to each other, like all three. Like our favourite four seasons, which for me is Cajun chicken, jerk chicken, um, sweet corn, extra cheese. <laughs> I'd have to have Pizza Hut and Domino's all lined up, and then, and then ask me. Mm. Um, that's what I have to do to then decide which one's my favourite. This is good. Mm. So, today, on the way back from Alstom, first time since Covid began. Obviously, we had testing centres up for a long time. Passed it for the first time, our, the one in our area. Mm. It makes it a lot more body real. It was like yeah, something out of outbreak. Did you feel that as well? Like literally, I'm just leave that for now. I'll read it after. Literally, guys, when you saw yeah, COVID's in the area, people come. It's horrible. People are ill. The hospitals are overrun because it's it's out there. It was. It felt a bit like 
I don't know. You know, you see them sci-fi films. Yeah, like Outbreak with Dustin Hoffman. Mm. Like we went past where all the tents are set up for the, you know, um, testing and stuff. I was like, oh. It was a bit awkward, wasn't it? It was. I mean, there was all I didn't know you felt like that. I thought, oh, blimey. Yeah, as long as you pointed him out, I thought the circus had turned up for the week. <laughs> He's like, no, Lee, that is actually, mm. you know, the... Test centres. Test centres. Can you try some No. No. Right. Mm. Alright. Go start again. I'm not kidding you. Like, you've been with us since February. Barney's been really good at playing the third wheel in this little uh, situation. But like, He's he, the superstar, to be fair. He, um, he ain't having none of it the last few days, is he? The last three videos we've done, guys. Three videos. He's been nothing but a pain in the arse. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Now, I have no idea what we're gonna get done in the next few days in terms of videos. We're hoping to do a couple more videos before Christmas. We've got seven days late, it's Christmas. We wanna hopefully be done a couple of days before Christmas recording. Because get everything finished off. Not only that, we wanna spend some time together with our family yeah. as well. Then. So I don't know if this guy's is going up <clears throat> like Boxing Day. I think this is like literally like a day before Christmas Eve. So if it is, it can't be because all we did yesterday is for two days before Christmas Eve. I think this is actually boom. I don't know. I ain't got my book. I write down what days I'm gonna upload the videos. Well, whenever it is, we hope you're gonna have a good Christmas or you've had a good Christmas. I think you've watched it after Christmas, guys. So I hope you had a great time. <laughs> this chicken is really nice, honey. Mm. Proper nice. <laughs> I was w walking past um, uh, somewhere mm. yesterday and there was a lady pointing, like an elderly lady, probably about the 70s, and she had a dog in the back of her car. Our dog just walked back and forth, back and forth. He's going to jump back up on the settee, the bugger. Anyway, she she pulled into this car park and I'll, I'll let her pass and whatnot. And obviously, wearing, being wearing your protective masks and stuff like that, she had one of them shield ones on. Mm. Yeah, there was only no, her... Quite funny, I'm Yeah, I couldn't wear a shield, but if you do, fair play to you. But there was only her and the dog in the car. She hadn't got to her destination where she was going to be around other people and going into a building. Yet when she left her house, she put the, the shield on for the car journey. I thought, so love, you're not going to catch it off yourself. Unless your dog's got it, there's no need to wear it for any longer than you would need to. Unless she had to go through a drive through But she wasn't, she was going to a certain place, which I don't want to mention. Unless she's in the girl guides or the cup of the beavers, the cubs like always be prepared. So like be prepared in case she gets hijacked. What if she drops someone off? Right. You, know, I, I doubt it because she she didn't look like she just had a, a conversation that she didn't want to be having with people. You see some people sometimes like oh for God's sake, thank God Jimmy's got out of the car. He had bad bo. You can tell them people they're like jumping around. And I can't think of who it was. And somebody said. I think someone was married to somebody called Dave. And they went, you yeah, bet you knew a Dave, particularly, because every other name. Yeah, that's the, the lady from Canuck, I think it is. Mm. Who, um, whose daughter was going for a bit of a rough time at uni back in the day, early on oh, in our no. channel. It's all right, actually, good. Well, let me keep up, I ain't close. Hmm? We'll be only five minutes. What, Barry? We nearly finished. Finished what? You picked up. Can you stick up that a bit off? Because it make me look fat. I'm starving. Hey, we'll slow down a bit. I'm not doing a 10 minute domino video. How many have I got left? You've got two left, I've got three left. I'm full. Well, I'm not surprised you've been flying through it, I'm. <laughs> slow. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I was saying anyway about um, the lady. So she couldn't prepare. It's like, bloody hell, love. there's no need for that. Just just wait till you get to your building. But then we went past that, then tense there. I was like, that's a bit weird. It was, that was a bit freaky, that was. I don't know, it just made me feel like, mm. it was a bit alien, not alien, uh, well, it was all shut up, that was the worrying mm -hmm. thing. It wasn't, it was round right the other side. Oh, I didn't see no mm. lights. I thought you had to like, go get your Covid test in the dark. Like, is that the right hole we're putting the swab test in? No, it Mr. was Mr Jones the is there, like, no, nope, that's my bottom. Mm, yeah. It was, it was, there was all there. Oh, sob that. Well, we've not had to have one yet, thankfully. Right, Barney, go and lie down. On your bed, go on, up you go, up. He's been a pest, and I don't mind telling you about it. One of our subscribers the other day was telling us about a lady who lives next door to an elderly lady, apparently, and uh, she's got a dog. Well, we got dogs, so that's not a problem. 
but her and the dog both have an Asbro. <laughs> I literally both have Asbro's. Apparently the lady's a bit of a pain in the arse, a bit of a shit stirrer, soft language. And the dog doesn't stop barking. So they're giving Asbro's. <laughs> I was like, that's quite entertaining. Oh my god. Well, I guess, you know, if you don't look after your dog or like, keep it under control. Well, I, no, I, I actually feel sorry for the dog. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not the dog's fault. He doesn't know. No. She doesn't know, do they? But I bet the dog doesn't know she's got an Asbro either. You know, that'll be something to brag about with your dog mates, when you're down the park. All right, <laughs> Terry, how are we doing? Terry the German Shepherd. I got me, I got me an Osbo. Woohoo! I'm one of the club. Terry's like, we don't want Osbo dogs around here. Some dogs are really well behaved, aren't they? Like, you see them on the park or walking down the road and they just don't give a damn about anything. Now, our Milo, if Lee takes him out, he, he, the second he goes out the front door, he's like... <laughs> I should have filmed it one time. You guys will feel sorry for me. I, I, it's not worth lying. When we had him as a pup, I wanted it every day. And it got to the winter, it was a bit cold out one night. So I will leave it tonight. And then I went to go out a few nights later. He's like, I ain't going out. It's bloody icy out there and snowy. It's like, yeah, fair play to you, Milo. Got around to the warmer weather in about February time. Oh, let's go out for a warm hour. He put, he'd lost, he'd forgotten how to walk properly. And ever since, he just sounds like, that. like that. And it's so embarrassing. And he's so strong as well now. Oh, he's a big dog. Saw. He's my lamb. Isn't he? Like, he's mm. quite a really big, tall dog. He's a Labrador, but he's, he's like, hang, like, muscly. More of a Labrador pain in the arse. I bet he thinks the same about you, love. Oh, I'm great, that bloody dog. What are you on about? Nah. I was reading about him. conspiracy theories today. Yeah, he's our tears, dog. I want to talk about conspiracy theories you got today because I was doing it the other day and I, couldn't, I found some really good ones. But I can't remember any of them because I've not had time. So we walked through the door from the shopping, unpacked, filled up a dad's freezer. We had to go around to fill that up. <laughs> and then the food was here. You were very happy. No. It was morning on the phone to my mum and I went, oh, bloody hell, because he really was. Yeah, and when I got around he's like, tell her, you know her. I, like, yeah. I know her is Stephen, I'd say her name, I knew her hey. Tell her, I heard her saying, bloody hell in the background. <laughs> he said, you know what I mean, Lee? You know what I mean? Like, I know what you mean, Steve. I know what she's like. And he's like, now I've got a route. I've got to climb to the bottom of that freezer to find me pizza. Because we filled up his freezer like, to the top. Big chest freezer. It's all filled up with our bloody Christmas food. Yeah, I wouldn't mind, but he's going to be eating it. Well, yeah. Only for a couple of days like here, though. Anyway. But he's not. He's here for how many days? Five days. Then yeah. he's in our bubble. Oh, he's in a bubble! Woohoo! Stevie, you got a bubble! He's one single person is allowed to move him. Wait, bloody in if you ask me, he ain't moving for good. Christ. Now anyway, I've read about this conspiracy theory today, guys, and I mean that people think the most crazy shit. I ain't even joking. My dad being one of them. Yeah, if you heard this time, even this is a bit far fetched for your dad. So I'm going to go through them tomorrow in another video. There's like eight theories. They're the modern day conspiracy theories. It's not like the old style ones. Like, like, you know, Diana was murdered. Like, so there's nothing like that. It's like modern day stuff. And one of them was that Disney made the film Frozen. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. Not because it was like an amazing film. I never actually watched Frozen in my life. But it wasn't for that reason. Apparently, Disney wanted people to stop searching on Google about Walt Disney, the man, and about him being cryogenically frozen. They want to keep it a secret. She's dead, ain't it, though? She's dead. Well, they want to keep it a secret. They don't want anyone looking into it anymore. Why? I don't know why. In case he really is frozen somewhere, and they plan on bringing him... He is, he's dead, he sorry. Yeah, but in case, like, maybe he's going to be a world leader in a few years, come back, like, Stalin or Hitler might do one day. Hitler's children out there somewhere, you better believe it. Anyway, John, are you one of Hitler's children? Wouldn't even know, would you? Unless he's got blue eyes and walks around with a funny tash. But anyway, Walt Disney, they reckon, like, you know, it could be behind one of the secret, um, you know, organisations that yeah. rule the world. So they want people to start searching for Walt Disney being frozen. So what they I do, have, I've done that. So now, when you search for Disney frozen, rather than Walt Disney's head popping up in an ice cube, you're getting the movie Frozen. And that is a conspiracy theory brought to you by me. I didn't think that. But, but all you'd have to do is, is Walt Disney's head frozen? 
Yeah, you'd run Peter, yeah, yeah, can we ta- I'll type that in. You would literally just type in Disney Frozen. Yeah, that's you what you get now. That keywords. I know he's come up with this conspiracy. People have got not better to do their lives. Oh, so it's not like one person. No, there is a lot of people thinking about this. Okay. A lot of people talking about it. There's a whole little cluster of people probably on Twitter or Instagram somewhere. They've got their own little website. You like, do get these people, don't you guys? Mm-hmm. Let's not be funny now. You do get these people who come up with the most craziest jargon. Well, we'll go for him. I've got another seven to give you, but I'm just not doing it today because I forgot what half of them were. I forgot what three and a half of them were. We should do Conspiracy Wednesday yeah. and Crime Watch Tuesday. Can do. Because I'm doing my little thing. Yeah. I'm doing fun. a series of crime stories. Lee can do conspiracy yeah. theories. I'll just throw a couple of crime stories in. But Aim's going to come at you with the main crime story. Lee's going to do conspiracy theories. Stop teasing my ideas. Yesterday we did crime stories. Yours only lasted five minutes. It's a good job. No, I it was a tester. It, it's a good job I knew about uh, that crime. That's my piece. But you've had them ones. No, I don't like it. I want that. You can have that. We split this. Can I just say to you something? What? What do you need more of that one? I don't know. It just made sense. I I ordered it, so I get it. <laughs> um, it? no. Talk about that. Who gets How what? How quick was that? What you just said it was a lot less quicker than mine yesterday. Yeah. That was a, like a few sentences. Hey. Because I knew that off the top of my head. You had to research yours. That's not the point. No, I'm just saying, though. No, it was good yesterday, because I had quite a few bits. You had a few bits. It was interesting. What's wrong with that? Um, anyway, talk about people sharing things. I heard this thing today. It was this bloke. Has anyone ever watched Fast and Loud? It's a TV show on Discovery. It's ended now. And this bloke, who was, like, the main bloke on it. You know, like, the, um, where they fix up cars and make, like... Yeah. From literally nothing, they make a mm. beast of cars and shit like that. I like Pimp My Ride back in the day. I used to love that. I like Pimp My Ride until what's his name took over. What's that annoying git? The one who can't rap and he's English. No, it was the English version and he's not a rapper, he's a DJ. Yeah, he was awful though, wasn't he? But I know what you mean now. Tim right? Westwood. Exhibit used to host it in America back in the day. Pimp My Ride. Um, but either way, this bloke, it's called Fast and Loud. He remarried like recently. And he's really rich, obviously. He's got a, a show on Net Discovery. He's had it for years, and he's got a big car company. I think. What's his name? Richard Rawlings. He's a bit of a knobhead, if I'm being honest. I have to listen to him for three hours on a podcast, and the bloke interviewing him kept trying to get rid of him because he's been a right arsehole. And he wouldn't take the hint. He just kept cracking up on new beers. Like, this is really awkward. Why would you sit and listen for three hours? Then, if you found Because it's Joe Rogan. And that, oh, well, that's it then. Me, if it's me, Joe and, bloody Rogan. Me and Joe. Oh, drop your chicken. We'll listen to anything, me and Joe. Anyways. So, <laughs> this bloke, he met a new lady or whatever. I think she was younger than him. And he had a lot of money. And imagine... Oh, I keep dropping my chicken. You can see it, can't you? Imagine that's an awkward conversation. I can't imagine having it with him. Because I don't have anything to leave her or split with her anyway. But, you know, the prenup. That is one awkward conversation. And he mm. said it was. He had to have this conversation. He went in there, got all these paperwork off his lawyers. He's like, okay, then, for Celia, whatever her name was, we need, I need you to look it's at these... It's Cecilia, not for Celia. Her name was for Celia. It I'd, wasn't, though. No, I don't know what her name was. I just made it up. He's like, we need to... You need to read these papers with your lawyers. I hate to do it, but it's a prenup. I don't want you taking half of what I've got if we split up. I know it's horrible. It's really awkward. He's feeling awkward about it, and she's like, oh, okay, Ricky, or Dicky, is that what you call Richard, ain't Dicky? All right, mate, no worries, no worries, no worries. Whilst we're at it... At uh, what? Whilst we're at it, whilst I'm looking through your paper, um. <laughs> I need you to look through this telephone size contract. She'd only been married to a multi-billionaire before she got with him. He knew this. And she Do you had... think that's why he married her? No. He had all his own money, but she had... A prenup of her own. She's like, I don't need shit from you. Are you silly? You're taking a penny from me, mate. They're happy as Larry, like the best thing that ever happened to each other, apparently. No, no, I don't. I'm sorry. This is all too weird, though, isn't it? What? What would you do? You decided to get a slice of pizza. That's mine. Half each. That's yours. If we split up tomorrow, it's half each. <laughs> There's no prenup. My to say that that's your slice? I paid for this. 
hell did you? Yeah. My I... fingers dialed the bloody number to order it. You pay for it in my arse. It was half each. So we need a prenup about pizza. Oh, I paid for this then. Anyway. Not pay half each. Could you imagine that conversation between me and you? I think it got, yeah. I think it got really bad. Yeah. If what? I was a multi-billionaire, I'd sign a blip. What's he? But that was hilarious, I thought, because he was cr cr the right arse. And then, like, the punchline was like, yep, I signed over this prenup. But then she turned around with an even bigger one, which basically said, mate, you ain't getting a sodding penny for me and you split up. But apparently, like, she's a lot younger than him. So I, I can't imagine him splitting up there anytime soon. It was just a funny situation. That's not true, you know. Why? People think, when people are really good looking, or they're younger and older, and whatever, now they'll have split up. People split up these days for everything. No, yeah. look at Donald Trump. Yeah, he can't tell me he wants to split up his missus. We split up yesterday. Oh, we did, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> no word of a lie. Went to marriage gardens other night. Back to no. today. Then we had a massive event. We just like forget them. How many of you guys out there have done that? God, you know what? This is it. I've had enough now. We're about that's it. That's it. We're well, sitting there. So if you've watched, my our... mum was just like. If you watched our breakfast bap video, which was recent, our last video we uploaded, it should be, or unless Christmas comes in between the two, then you get Christmas dinner. That Christmas bap video, the reason our food went cold, we did lie to you that bit. up. Yeah, we said we'd made the food, and then something, we had a water leak or whatever. We didn't. <laughs> we had a big old Barney, me and I did, and we felt like idiots. That was seven trips. The water company did come round unexpectedly, yeah, we don't know then. what that was about. No, we were talking for like half an hour, so the food did go a bit cold, but... Me and I did have a big old argument, mm -hmm. and I was just sitting there thinking, how the hell do you split up a YouTube channel? I was like, should I give her like Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, and I'll have Tuesdays, no. Thursdays and Saturdays? That's a lot. it's a Sunday. You said you was deleting the channel? I was that angry. I was like, if we can't be together, no one's having the channel. But Whose idea? Who was it? It's oh, AIM's really? idea originally to set up a mukbang channel. It was your idea, I was right? doing it on my arm now, wasn't you I? You didn't do a thing about it, though. Right? You didn't think of the name. You didn't come up with any of the artwork. You didn't come up with any of the uh, camera. I did think with... of the name, though. Did you? Yeah. That oh. was... I did think I thought it was me. No, I just say because I, I can't know. tell you the reason why. Oh, well, either way. Not, not splitting up. That's the main thing. Yet. Ever. Until you get a prenup. Well, that's slice of pizza you're eating. You just want my bank balance. Do you know, at the minute, uh, talking about bank balances... Obviously, all this stuff about going to space and whatnot, Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos, the Amazon black, they're all getting like the tickets ready. You can buy them probably on, um, you know. I'm done. Black ma you didn't even finish the slice I wanted. I don't like the claws. Anyway, apparently, for a flyby visit to the moon, so you don't actually get to get off the plane, off mm -hmm. the jet or whatever it is, you actually go, fly up, there's the moon! Isn't it called Intergalactica or something? No, I don't. This was like Space Adventures is the company it's called. I think it's Jeff Bezos' his one. Have a guess how much it costs you to do that guy. You're having a giraffe. Is he? No, you're having a joke. Three million. Uh oh. Two million. Oh. Four million. Six. Ah, oh, sorry, man. I was looking the book. Hundred and fifty million for a flyby visit, mm. and two hundred and fifty million for one of the other ones, uh, one of the other companies where I think maybe you get to like have your picture took on the moon or something like that. Hundred and fifty million squidlies to just look at the moon for about ten minutes and then fly back again. No. You know that there's rich people out there who can afford it or do it. They don't give a shit. I look so windswept. Literally, guys. Come out of Mazda, my hair like gone to rat's tails. It was lovely before we went out, wasn't it? No. You were cruising at the minute, you and mate. Why are you being so nasty um, to me for? I've been a pizza. I just started the conversation. And you just ended it with, no, forget that. Look at my hair. No, <laughs> the reason being, because I, I find that annoying, if anything. Like, nice. meatballs are good. No, I think they've got like fennel in them. I can taste like licorice. I can, yeah, like, not, um, sorry, aniseed. I can taste a little bit of aniseed. So I'm wondering if it's got a touch of fennel in them. Mm, no, but that's no. it. Just drop the ketchup down there. On the... 
Right there. Call the sweet corn. Where? Yeah. The three pieces, Lee. The, the three pieces is at one, two, three. What do you mean? Look at all the sweet corn. And that was good food. Can you please explain what exactly you're getting at with that? One, two, three. You left a crust. Three bits of sweet corn. Not impressed. Well, I left it for you that bit. Oh, thank you, Emma. And that bit. Oh, that's sweet. Because yeah. you love the crust. Mm. I don't like it, guys. Do, do any you? of you have the arguments like we did yesterday? And then after you this feel... This is so real life, by the way. This is exactly the way we are. No, no, damn right it is. Today, because we, I was that stressed with like getting back, unpacked, packing away, and all the other stuff that comes with shopping. It, this ain't a joke, guys. I'm going to interrupt now. He gets arsey as hell. Like, he is not one to be around when... There's just something, the slightest bit of stress that normal people just can't with. He goes into certain death over time, honestly. <laughs> yeah. He is a nightmare. I mean, guess who gets the brunt of it? Hey, no, I do. Are you going to do this? Are you no, no, no. And I think, God, you could just speak to me like a normal grown-up. Yeah, I can be a bit of an arsehole. But the point yeah, being... Yeah, I've got to admit that. The, after an argument, we, I always feel closer than ever. Until the next one. You're flowing your nostrils wide. Because <laughs> that's not true. I do, and I actually like your hair like that. Oh, but it's morning. I ain't woke me up. She's like, God, Lou, I feel so rough. And she does, you do this quite often, oh, you know. Oh, God. Like, you'll start coming down with something in the morning. Mm. And by about an hour later, when I'm actually getting out of bed, she won't be like five. I think I've got, like, allergies or something. I mean, literally, if you'd heard her at five this morning, you'd think she was coming down with a serious bug or flu. And by about half six... I wake up, she's reading about a sudden Sid James. <laughs> oh, what are you doing, eh? It's like half six. Oh, I'm just reading about Sid James and, uh, you know, God rest his soul, Barbara Windsor and mm. their affair that they had back in the day. That's okay. But that wasn't this morning, that was yesterday. Oh, that was just another day. I do tend to wake up at like half four, five. Lately, I just, I do, don't I, all the time. Yeah. <gasps> the three of us sat down last night. First time our tears <sighs> come and spent a night was... In about three Nobody months. Now. Sorry about that. She also goes up to her room one night or spends the evening on a weekend with Brendan in there. So the first time it's just those, those three for about three months, comes in to watch a Christmas film, the first one of the year we've got to watch. First one to clonk out is I. <laughs> followed by me, followed by Tia. We I was watching Gordon Ramsay. No, when we went to sleep, I was watching The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Oh, yeah. And when I woke up at like 25 to 2, all three of us were fast asleep. None of us saw more than five minutes of the film. <laughs> so we're going to revisit that maybe on Sunday. Um, but we've got some... We've got Disney Plus. Woohoo! We've had it before, though, haven't we? Yeah, there's new films on now. I only had it really for the... Um... Yeah, that was a waste of time. I ordered Home Alone 1 and 2 on DVD because we I, our tears were spiced You know, I already got it in the loft, but Lee didn't want to go up the loft to get it. No. How bad's that? It's effort, man. We've already got them in the loft. So I bought them for finished. a fiver. But Lee didn't want to go back up the loft to get them the things you've already got. Guys, if you're a guy and you're watching, you've got a missus or a family and kids want to, how often do you go up in the loft? Men go in the loft all the time. Twice a year, then. ain't it? One, to get the decorations down. Second time, to put them back up. <laughs> That's it. No, Lee, you're going up there soon, actually. Anyway, we ordered the DVDs. They arrived. Then the same day, we it says did. she wants... Disney Plus? Ah, oh, get Disney Plus, no problem. What's on Disney Plus? Home Alone 1 and Sodding 2! Well, Ooh. I've got no sympathy there for no. you, mate. And now we've got a roll because we've got to go and get ready for our live. I need to get into makeup. I can get the makeup <laughs> team in to cool me down a bit. <laughs> ah, crap, Joe, that's good. No. Cool me, my lovely lady. Uh, we do hope you've had a good Christmas if Christmas has already passed. If not, we hope you can have a good Christmas. Absolutely. We don't. I think we've lost. Sense of time, honestly, with all these mm. videos and whatnot that's been going on. It's just, there's been a lot behind the scenes with our families as well, guys. As you know, like with Dad, Lee's dad, he unfortunately started out with bowel cancer. And then, like, my auntie passed away. And, like, my dad's been in a re right mess. And families have been all mm. over the place this year. We literally have been, our heads have been all over the place, haven't they? With one thing and another. Hence why it's six days till Christmas or seven days today and we still don't have a lot of our presents hmm. we still have presents to buy guys I'm we've still, got I, yeah ago. I have got some I've got some stuff to my dad to get I've got something we need to get and I've got like another few bits of tea to get 
um, and tonight was crazy because we could have just picked up and picked up today in Asda. We did it, though, come to like 400 quid. <laughs> Pardon me. And we saw this really, really, we, we bought Tia this new outfit from there. Mm. It was just crazy because obviously you could keep going and going, but then we tried to put a budget on things this year, didn't we? Yeah, we went in with nothing left to buy for Tia. And the first thing we see was this Well, outfit. you saw it first and then, I'm not kidding you guys, if he sees something for that kid, he's like, that's it. I'm Figure out what we can leave so we can buy yeah, it. Yeah, he's like, I'm, I'm getting it. And I was like, I know we're going to get this now. And at that point when I seen it, I was like, my heart was like, wow, we've got to get mm, this. Full track suit. Like it's like one. a PlayStation thing. I don't know what, she'll love it anyway. She absolutely loves PlayStation. It's a full PlayStation track suit. Like, we saw, just saw the hoodie at first. And then before you know, there's a t-shirt, there's a joggers. 55, 60 quid later. I mean, I'll spend that suit. in JD Sports on her. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's also on one hoodie though. What's the point in that? We have done. I've just got ah, another one. On, on. Cut on my head. Anyways, we're boring people now. I'm boring me. I've got to get going. So have you. I need to get into my cup and have a coffee. Oh, I need to sleep. Yeah. You know when you go into full on food coma? I did eat that though. I never, I normally save pieces of pizza. But you haven't eaten since I like was, 10 o'clock this morning. No, it was before that. Before. And it's now like past six o'clock. It's now half seven. I'm... It's half past seven. I haven't eaten since <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't know, about nine o'clock. I was starving. But I'll tell you something now. It's so much better when you're actually hungry to eat yeah. a pizza. Because it, pizza, I know everybody says, oh, you know, pizza, I can eat it cold. I don't like cold pizza at all. Oh, no. To no. me, like this now, like solidified. I can't do, really do reheated food, like Chinese. I like, can heat pizza I don't mind up. reheating pizza up, I've got to be honest. But what I'm saying is, like, I think if you have it fresh from the beginning, it's... yeah. Fully agree. And then in a couple of days, we're making pizzas. Oh. Which you'll see. So. Oh, yeah, we bought a pizza kit. Yeah. Oh, I, want, I wish you really got two, though, because it's... No, there's two in there. Two pizza bases. Yeah. So, me and Lee are going to have a, a pizza, pizza off. competition. We're going to have a pizza a off. A piss off. <laughs> if you say a bit quicker. Piz. A piss off. Yeah. Right, guys, thank you. Hey, my take us away, kid. I'm older than you, Lee. Prenup. Thank pizza. Behave. You tough. It's gone, mate. <laughs> cool. uh, anyway guys remember to be kind remember to be nice comment share like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos check the notification bell i mean the community tab also check out instagram hope you've had a good christmas hope you're having a good christmas whatever when they just put out i don't know um it's up to me all that sort of crap i worry about videos when they go out and i will definitely know in about two minutes when i go and have a look what day it's going so hope you had a good Christmas, like I said. Thank you. We love you. Check out your finances before Instagram. I've already YouTube said it, channel. Lee. You don't need to say it again. Okay. Pre Calm down. Pizza. You yeah. don't need to repeat what I've said. We need to this is what Lee does. He has to repeat everything I've said. And you'll notice, honestly, guys, if you don't believe me, go to a, a few of the other videos and you'll write to the end. And if I say bye, Lee has to say bye again. I don't have a good bye beat. No, but... Do you eat? Because it does my head in. I don't even have a welcome beat. Well, I did say, why can't we take it in turns? And you said no. We will. We will and start to I'm going to say bye. You, you, you say bye and I'm going to say bye last. No. Yeah? I'm not going to say goodbye. Say it? No. Okay, then. Bye, everybody. Oh, it's killing you, isn't it? Look at his face. Shut off. Bye. Bye.